No matter how many times I write about jewelry of the past centuries, especially Russian and European jewelry, the treasure trove of jewelry rarities never runs out, and it becomes a pity if you miss one or another creation of the 19th and early 20th century. How could it be that we have not seen this beauty yet? You grab your head and immediately take up your pen. Rich fashionistas, aristocrats of the turn of the century were so beautiful in front of each other that their jewelry was worthy of the best exhibitions of jewelry art. Hairstyles, ears, necklines, and thin wrists literally burned with the glow of magnificent stones. And the imagination of masters turned platinum and diamonds into outlandish birds, flowers, and restless insects. In the first decade of the 20th century, no self-respecting lady would miss a chance to buy a tiara in the form of bird's wings for a ball. And every beauty, young and not so young, dreamed to fly on the wings of charm much higher than their rivals in the next fashion competition. Here they are, the wings of an unprecedented bird, created from the purest diamonds and crazy blue sapphires in 1907. By the way, the king of Sweden's aunt, Countess Gunilla Bernadotte, wife of the Count of Wisborg, boasted a treasure trove of unseen rarities. Look how delicate, graceful looks Pearl Tyra, flowering lily of the valley. Transformer jewelry could be dismantled into parts and one of them could be worn as a cheek brooch. Prince Albert II of Monaco knew a lot about jewelry tricks. Therefore, in 1890, he turned to the legendary jewelry brand of France, Chamet, which has long been creating for representatives of royal dynasties. By order of the prince, the masters created a majestic diamond tiara, sprigs of oak topped with pearl acorns. The oak is a symbolic tree, a sacred sign for many ruling families of Europe. It seems as if the diamond crown was meant to protect the entire family of the princes of Monaco from tragedy and bad luck. But as we know, jewelry alone is not enough, and the happiness of wives, children and grandchildren largely depends on the rulers of the small state themselves. However, until today, they could not boast of happy marriages. Another masterpiece from the Monegas collections is a tire of transparent diamond bursts from 1908. Presumably, the precious headdress depicts some unusual plant. It does. The diamonds set in the noble metal are created like the curls of acanthus, a plant with sharp prickles. Although here we see only leaves, twigs, and small curls, which probably symbolize those very natural thorns. The ruling elite believe that acanthus helps to triumph over all troubles, troubles, trials. Therefore, crowns on a similar theme were ordered quite often. A jewel from an earlier time, 1847, which I found fantastically beautiful, is a European bracelet. Diamond ivy with large leaves, skillfully covered with enamel, shimmers with delicate reflections of snow-white pearls. The owner of such a bracelet, or rather the owner, had to live a long, eventful life and certainly enjoyed endless love. As we can see, almost all jewelry meant something, and fulfilled the role of mystical, heart, or creative talismans. Tyra of 1910 strikes the imagination with the fabulous charm of precious stones and skillful workmanship. Divine emeralds edged with diamonds are especially good and do it with noble platinum. The crown was worn in the hairstyle of one of the noble German ladies of Westphalia during the festivities, dinners, and balls organized by Kaiser Wilhelm. A little earlier, at the end of the 19th century, combinations of gold and silver, as well as Persian turquoise and sparkling diamonds became fashionable. Such a crown was characterized by lightness, weightlessness of the composition, and looked girlishly touching. If the owner of the tire had blue eyes, the jewelry looked simply delightful on her. As we remember, the 19th century demanded from ladies more laconic, but no less solemn jewelry for well-groomed wrists and lush hairstyles. Therefore, Instead of extensive diadems and large tiaras in those days reigned more capacious crowns egret. They can be compared to hairpins. The Spanish egret with diamond wings and the same sparkling feathers with transparent stones echoes legends and ancient myths. Women dreamed of becoming like goddesses to soar to the heavenly halls. And finally, a real hairpin bird with black and pink feathers fought all the fashionistas by surprise. After all, the one who wore a gold piece with a scattering of diamonds and a baroque pearl met with admiring sighs and envious glances of other ladies. Wings are wings, and the hairpin bird, bright and realistic, is worthy to decorate the outfit of the most beautiful crowned person.